asked to contribute to an article on Fifty Shades of Grey recently. To prepare for today, I dug out all the shades of grey that I could find. Well, I just had to do my research. Ooh, I'm feeling sexier already. Ooh. Did you know Fifty Shades of Grey sold more than 65 million copies worldwide? Set a few records. Fastest selling paperback, more than all of the Harry Potters put together. Crazy. She beat out J.K. Rawlings. She also beat out Oprah. Spent longer on the New York Times bestseller list 20 weeks, then Oprah's cookbook, 16 weeks, or Hunger Games at 16 weeks. Ugh. I thought I'd share the questions with you. Cheryl, what are your thoughts on the Fifty Shades of Grey craze? Why do you feel something so seemingly scandalous has become so popular in the mainstream culture? Well, my answer to that is that's no surprise. My feeling is that in a culture where our number one problem is low sex and no sex couples, we need all the help we can get. And since erotica has been published pretty much since we were publishing anything, and we were drawing naughty pictures on cave walls with a piece of rock and a stick, yeah, erotica is nothing new. And from my experience, human beings have always been curious monkeys. They would try just about anything behind closed doors. And since erotica has gone through various trends over time, including her erotica, erotica written by women, it seems only a natural progression that a little bit of kink or BDSM could be introduced into the picture. Might as well go the extra inch. And after a quick browse through the internet, a wonderful uncensored view of human sexuality. Fifty Shades of Grey looks like play school to me. My opinion in terms of sexuality, Fifty Shades is written in a very euphemistic manner. I would categorize it as a modern harlequin romance. A little kink, a little BDSM thrown in. Just safe enough to titillate and tantalize good girls without raising too many eyebrows. Question number two. Is a book of this nature good for a relationship, sex-wise? Or could it be detrimental? As long as these books aren't in replacement of your normal sexual interaction or your relationship. Not tonight, honey. I'm not reading about Christian Grey. I don't see the harm in it. After all, how are we going to learn new things if we don't expand our context, study up, read about new things, open our minds? I've had clients that would use Fifty Shades of Grey. These were quite conservative clients, I have to say. To get in the mood, turn off the illogical work brain before their husbands got home from the office. So there's a wonderful use for a book like that. And I've had other stories of moms running down to the local bookstore because they were out of the first book couldn't wait for the second book, trying to get the third book. So if it saved them from a toddler mania, kid craze, mom insanity, mental pause, but added a little light to their lives, why not? Basically anything that can expand your creativity, make you think outside the box in terms of sexuality is a really good thing. Number three, what is a safe way for a partner to bring up the desire to experiment in these more kinky ways. In good relationships, from my experience, where trust is strong and communication is excellent, it's easy to bring up new things in the relationship and in the bedroom. If you're struggling, I would start off by saying something like, I've got a surprise for you that I think you're gonna like. Start off something easy, silk scarves, little role play, dress as a naughty schoolgirl, dress like I did in high school. 
nah, nah. This is like me in high school. Don't dress like that, unless someone has a like nerd fetish. After all, the bedroom is one of the only places where adults can be silly, playful, and fun, experiment with new ideas, new personas, get creative, be goofy, be silly, play around, keep it light, keep it fun. You never know what you'll dislike or like till you try it. Number four. Do you have any advice for those looking to spice up their Valentine's Day? My advice, try something new. Human beings, although we're creatures of habit and we love our structure, thrive on variety and anticipation. Even as adults, we love to anticipate holidays, celebrations, surprises. Remember, this also applies to your boudoir activities. So keep it fun and play safe.